how you doing? Mr. Bill here. And today I'm going to talk about uh, multiplying or dividing automation by two uh, in an arrangement. So let's say, for instance, here's an example. I have this riser section right here and let's listen to it right now and I, you can see all the automation stuff. So this is actually a remix that I'm doing for Incanti or Zebler Incanti experience rather. And I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a while. And funnily enough, I came across, like I come across this problem all the time and the solution, oh, sorry, let me ex explain the problem. The problem is that uh, if I want like this riser, for instance, I, I already made it, but it doesn't go for long enough. Like I want this to just go for a little longer. So let's say I was like, oh shit, this riser section needs to go for just one extra rotation. And I hit uh, Control Shift D or Command Shift D on Mac, which will duplicate time, which means that it'll take everything here, create a space here for it. So if I hit Control I, that creates a uh, space on the timeline. Um, <clears throat> and then it will just duplicate the whole thing there again. So that's again, Control Shift D. Um, but the problem is now I'm like, ah, oh, damn, the note happens again and all the automation is wrong. And that applies for every single thing that might have automation on it, which could be uh, this thing as well. So for instance, you know, I would need to be like, ah, oh, damn, I need to fix this automation now. <coughs> and I need to fix this automation now. And I need to fix this and this and like do all of this stuff. And it takes a little uh, longer than I would hope. Um, but in Kanti, the guy who's whomst I'm doing this remix for, he actually came up with a really cool solution to this problem. Uh, let me just keep on doing here until we're back to where we were. All right, cool. Uh, and his solution is actually available in a YouTube tutorial here called How to Time Stretch Automation uh, Divided by Two and Times Two in Ableton Live. And it doesn't have many views. And I asked him, do you mind if I do this tutorial again on my channel? Because I think A, it's a really cool trick and more people need to know about it. And B, I would like to draw attention to Encanti's YouTube channel. He only has 378 subscribers, but he's probably one of the like most intelligent producers I know personally, especially when it comes to Ableton, like hacks and tricks and stuff like that. Um, he's like a college professor, so he definitely knows what he's doing. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you this trick. Uh, so you can go watch his video or you can just continue watching this one. Uh, essentially the trick is to highlight this amount of time that you want to duplicate and then you uh, right click and you say consolidate time to new scene. So if we consolidate all the time to the new scene, we can now switch over to session view here. And you can see here that we now have all of the elements in this track in a, in a single scene. So what I wanna do now is just get all of the MIDI elements. So all of the audio elements, I'm gonna move down one scene. So this is audio, uh, this is audio, this is audio, this is audio, this is MIDI, 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 and MIDI. Okay, cool. So what I wanna do now is go to this notes panel. So you have the envelopes, notes, and, and the clip panel. You can turn the clip off here and if you want as well. Uh, so I wanna to go to this notes panel and you'll see what happens when I go to the notes panel is this divided by two and times two uh, thing becomes available to click. And what this will do is just halve the amount of time or double the amount of time that, that this MIDI is happening for. Um, but not only is it stretching the notes because you can also do this in, um, in arrangement view. Uh, like so just by hitting times two or divided by two. But the thing is, is if I have automation here in arrangement view, like let me just quickly draw some, some automation. Uh, yeah, sure, that'll do. Uh, if I hit times two here, you can see the notes double, but the automation does not. And that is actually a little bit of a problem because we wanna double the automation too. Otherwise all of this riser information is gonna be wrong. Uh, and, and a bunch of other information too that happens during the riser. But what happens when you can consolidate this to a scene is you can see in the MIDI control panel here that it's actually copied all of the uh, automation from all of the parameters, like the filter frequency here and the disperser frequency and just everything has been copied here. So now when we hit uh, times two, it also times as the automation by two. So we can go through all of these now and just hit times two on all of them like so. Uh, hit times two here. And now what we want to do is take all of this MIDI, cut it, 
um, give ourselves some space here to be able to duplicate it. So let's just, I guess you could, um, I suppose we could even probably just insert time. So let's just uh, control I insert time and then just paste everything here. And you can see now all this riser information that we took from here has been doubled in time over to here. And that would apply for whatever else has automation too. So you can see this here is just duplicated to twice as long here. So this right here is just this twice as long. Uh, this also works for dividing. So if we wanted to make the riser shorter, because let's say we made the riser this long and we're like, ah, actually it needs to be more like this, then we could just divide it by two and, and do the exact same thing. Um, so I thought that was a really cool, quick little tip that Incanti figured out. Um, and yeah, you should definitely go subscribe to his channel. And this remix will be out in the summer. And it sounds like this. Cool. Thanks for watching.